Hello, thank you for joining with me for the meditation for lesson 248. Go ahead and sit with your back supported, head and neck free. Do a few very slow head rolls in each direction, if inspired. We're going to go ahead and start with a 2x breath in through the nose for a count of 2, out through the mouth for a count of 4, and repeat that three times. Whatever suffers is not part of me. I have disowned the truth. Now let me be as faithful in disowning falsity. Whatever suffers is not part of me. When you're done with the 2x breath, move into the 3x breath, in through the nose for a count of 3, out through the mouth for a count of 6, three times. What grieves is not myself, what is in pain is but illusion in my mind. What dies was never living in reality, and did but mock the truth about myself. Now I disown self-concepts and deceits and lies about the Holy Son of God. Now am I ready to accept him back as God created him, and as he is. Whatever suffers is not part of me. Move into the 4x breath, in through the nose for a count of 4, out through the mouth for a count of 8. Repeat that three times or as often as you like through the silent meditation. Use the lesson of the day as the mantra in the silent meditation or a mantra of your choice to help direct your thoughts and to let go of thoughts that are not around God in silence. Whatever suffers is not part of me. Father, my ancient love for you returns and lets me love your son again as well. Father, I am as you created me. Now is your love remembered and my own. Now do I understand that they are one.
Whatever suffers is not part of me. When you get upset because of someone else's pain, it is only because you have psychologically identified with them. Whatever suffers is a part of me. When you are mourning the death of a loved one, it is because you believe something in you has died. As Freud explained in his brilliant paper, Mourning and Melancholia. Mourning, of course, is normal, but when it turns into depression, melancholia is the term used for depression. It is because mourners believe that the person who died is a part of them, as they are part of that person. Thus, something in them is suffering or has died. In our right minds, however, we know that whatever suffers is not part of us because the body is outside the mind and our identity. We know this is a dream of sickness, pain, and death, and what, ha what has this to do with God's Son, who is myself? When we indulge in false empathy, identifying with someone's pain, we are disowning the truth, which is that God's one Son remains as He created Him as Spirit. Our identity, therefore, is invulnerable in the perfect oneness that disowns the falsity and insanity of the ego's thought system of sin, attack, and death. I step with Jesus outside the dream and look back on its figures no longer perceived as living bodies. A Course in Miracles is difficult to practice only because we are so identified with our physical selves. Yet the Course gently leads us step by step as we grow into the acceptance of its truth. We remain as God created us. When I am in the real world outside the dream, God's love dawns on my mind and I understand His love and mine are the same. In special love, with which we almost always identify, love is seen as distinct and different. Happily now, we recognize the falsity of this belief. Whatever suffers is not part of me. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow.